Hi guys, welcome back to Switch Up. We're going to do the usual and look at the upcoming games for next week. Now remember this is only the next 7 days, so don't panic if you don't see one like you're waiting for from the week later. Big thanks to our patrons who support the channel each and every month, and to all of you new people who have joined us, we really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below, we literally read everything and try to reply to everything and have a decent little community here. With that in mind, we'll be giving away a Geotech pack, you can see it on the screen. All you need to do is say down in the comments what is your most anticipated game in 2020, and we'll announce the winner of that on Friday. Friday. So, let's jump into the list. First up then is the Double Dragon and Retro Brawler bundle from Arc System Works, which drops on the 19th. It's got 18 different games in it, and I know it's one that Glenn's going to absolutely love. You can play either the original versions or the quality up version as it describes it on the eShop description, where the mechanics of the game and the commands have been improved. However, it does disclaim that some of the games only include the original version, and it's a shame it doesn't tell you exactly which ones of those it is. Still, having said that, there are some great titles here that everyone knows. You've got your Double Dragon Trilogy, Renegade, Super Dodgeball, and then the classic titles which were unreleased in North America, Niketsu Renegade Kunio Kun, Downtown, Niketsu Story, Niketsu Fighting Legend, and loads of other games. There is a serious amount here, that's not bad for about 30 quid. You've got one to four player local and two to four player online as well, and the whole thing comes in at under 400 meg. One for retro fans. Then we've got 3000th Jewel, which also comes out on the 19th. It's one I've been keeping my eye on for a while. It's been kind of stealthing at the back of the upcoming list for a while now, and it looks really interesting. It's an action adventure game that has speedy, exciting battles as its charm. That's how it describes itself. You play as a hero with no memory and with a mysterious mask covering your face. This is one huge world with lots of interconnected biomes, of which there are apparently more than 300. There's 150 different types of monster as well as lots of different bosses and an absolute wedge load of weapons to find. Talking about the weapons, they're split into like blades, swords and lances, each of which have their own strategic movesets. This one's launching with a pre-order discount of 20% and that takes it down to an astonishingly low really by the looks of the quality, £9. So I would go and have a look at this one, see what you think of it, check out the trailer that we're showing and maybe pick it up on the 19th. Capcom are releasing their Devil May Cry Special Edition, and that as well is coming with a decent discount for pre-orders. It's 25% off, which is going to take it to about £11 or £12. That's actually not a bad price, and in all honesty, I wish that's the price they released all their other games for in the past. If you're not familiar with the series, it's set before the events of the original game, and it sees Dante facing off against his twin brother. Ah, good old evil twin storyline. It's like early Sonic. <laughs> and he's called Virgil. He sounds evil, doesn't he? <laughs> Virgil. One to potentially look out for when it drops on the 20th. Capcom, Otona no Mezak series. The fourth one today then is Lines XL. Now I wouldn't normally mention a game that potentially looks so, um, <clears throat> well, how, how best to describe it, but I recognize the name Nestor Yavorsky. He was either a part of, he did something on another title that, and it was a really good game. I forget which game it was, um, but this guy, is decent. Um, so this is £1.79, so it's a, a relaxing number link puzzle. It's got 500 different levels on there and a really nice ambient relaxing soundtrack. So for about, what, a little over a quid, you can't really go too, too far wrong. Oh, and for that one guy that keeps asking what a quid is, it's a pound, as in like a pound a quid. This drops on the 20th. <laughs> Then we've got Frederick Free, or Freed... 
free rick as they've spelt it very clever very clever it's the third game in the frederick music series which is a rhythm based game but the interesting thing is there's a storyline running through them the art style is really nice on these but the main thing obviously is the music they've reinterpreted classical works of music into something a little bit more new and unique it has the lovely aesthetic and there's a good deal of humor running through this series and many different difficulty levels now the whole game only features i think it's about nine levels eight main ones and then the final boss fight but sometimes good things come in small packages plus i can see a giant seagull in the artwork so it gets brownie points for that this launches on the 20th with a 10 percent discount composers in steel frederick without a heart again The sixth game I want to highlight this week is Seal Fledge, a daughter raising simulator from P-Cube. Now, <laughs> I know that sounds absolutely ludicrous and, uh, well it is, but it's so strange it actually might be decent. It's the year 3716. Humanity lives under constant risk of ruin from a colossal alien threat known as Gigant, Gigant, oh man. Fleeing its destruction, a mysterious young girl arrives on Ark 3, a magnificent city built in the sky. Man, it's like like Discworld, except that's the back of a turtle. You will obviously adopt this daughter and it's your job to raise her. It's one of those games where every day has its own schedule, so you'll decide what she does on each of those days and that will affect the outcome of the title. You'll have to manage her mood as well as ensure that she's doing the activities right. There is a battling system in here as well and a ton of customization you'll do to her as she grows. I think the most interesting aspect here is that supposedly every decision you make will actually impact the end result and how she grows up and what she ends up like. This is so strange, it might actually be worth checking out. It drops on the 20th. Next up we've got Blood Will Be Spilled from a Two Games. It's a spaghetti western platformer that has tactical turn-based combat. Do you know what, that reminds me quite a bit of the SteamWorld Heist is it game from a while back. I love the art style on this as well and it looks to have a good deal of humour in there. It wouldn't be a western without a revenge based story, which this has, and it's got the excellent tones of Tim Simmons as narrator. As well as, and this is where it's really got me, uh, got me attention, is that Jack is voiced by Elias Tufex. I think look it's Adam Jensen from Deus Ex which is an amazing game and I really like that voice so this well uh this might be worth having a look at this one's only about 13 pounds and as well as the soundtrack the fully voiced cast and that lovely aesthetic this yeah this could be a very good game so let's drop in on the 20th twice would teach you when to quit what can I say it seems I'm a slow learner my my you're one tough devil ain't you lad Number 8 sees NIS America bring Sikio Shooting Stars Bravo on the 21st. Now if you're not familiar with these shmups, you've got Samurai Aces Episode 1, 2, 3, the Gumbird games, and a couple of others. And you can also play through these in vertical mode, known as Tate mode, not like the modern. <clears throat> They're one to two player locally, um, and there's no online here. It's $35.99 as well, which is a touch expensive, but if these can be had physically, then we'll let you know down below, and that might be the way to go. If you really want some classic top-down Zelda style adventuring then Night In Plus might be the game for you. It's another small one from Retalika Games. It's only around about six pounds. You join Brave Sir Loot a lot on his epic quest. It's obviously very tongue-in-cheek as standard pixel art graphics but quite a catchy little soundtrack in here and a story that well it even says on here it shouldn't be taken too seriously. Don't worry. I can, I can achieve that. I won't take it seriously. It looks okay. I don't think it's going to um, set any worlds on fire.
forget the Resident Evil 2 remake on the Nintendo Switch. We don't need it. We've got uh, Bloodbreed. <laughs> uh, this is look, it's retro inspired, so it's supposed to look this janky, but it's essentially a running and hiding game. It's a survival horror with challenging gameplay and mature visuals. See janky. Your car breaks down in a mysterious area. You're left to face a murderous maniac who is hunting you down. As you dive deeper into the story, you begin to discover the twisted and paranormal meaning of it all. Will you survive to see the light of day again? There you go. Yeah, it might be interesting. Some of these PSX era retro inspired games have been quite good. I'm just going to give a super quick shout out to Poyo Poyo 2 on, from Sega Ages. That one drops on the 20th as well. But yeah, we can. I think we can safely for this week cue the comments about how bad the lineup is. <laughs> Remember, this is only the one week. Next week, annoyingly, we've got all the games that Glenn and I are reviewing at the moment. So we've got the Metro games, which are, I mean, I'm not allowed to say they're amazing, but I'm not going to say they're not amazing ports. <coughs> they're amazing. Um, and you've also got the Two Point Hospital and some other ones, but we can't talk about those because this is only the next seven days. For now, you've got Ubermosh, Omega. Enjoy. A big thanks to our patrons and to all of you who enjoy our content and just leave decent comments down below. Remember that competition? If you want to enter, just let us know down in the comments which game you're most looking forward to and why. And obviously we pick those based on what we like and, and maybe what's got the most likes, whatever. So, you know, try and make us laugh or something. For all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya!